Hi, welcome to Prophetic Utterance. I'm your host, Jacqueline King. It's a great pleasure to come by this evening just to minister to you. Minister to you, your family, your associates, acquaintances, friends, whatever the situation may be. We're just going to enter into that place with God and just begin to honor Him and glorify Him. Because that's what it's about, you know. Anything that we do, we should honor Him. And not only should we honor Him, but what we are doing, it should also glorify Him. So we just give God the honor and the glory for this hour. We just bless His holy name because He is our deliverer. We thank God for the faith that He has given us. Amen. Faith to turn over rocks, to break down walls. Amen. Faith to walk upon water. Amen. No matter what's going on, God is possible. He is not impossible. God is possible because he does the impossible. So Father, we just honor you as we enter into this teaching. We're entering, believing by faith that signs will follow as we yield ourselves to you, Father, in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Just loving you and respecting you with our mind, with our thoughts, with our attitude, Father God. Because your words say, be holy because I am holy. So we just bless you. Amen. Amen. Hi, welcome to Prophetic Utterance. I'm your host, Jacqueline King. It's a great pleasure to be back, amen, to be back to share with you um, some teaching that I'm currently um, doing uh, concerning faith. You know, everything I'm doing is really surrounded around faith and learning how to pray, but pray with the word of God, amen. And so for the last seven days, I have been doing my daily devotion and I'm really excited about this devotion. Uh, And I have to say, I resisted doing this devotion. I really don't like to follow trends. I don't like to follow what other people are doing, but I love to follow what the Holy Spirit is doing. Amen. And so this book that I'm currently doing um, my daily devotion from is called Draw the Circle. The 40-Day Prayer Challenge. And this book is written by Mark Patterson. That's B-A-T-T-E-R-S-O-N. And his name is Mark. And so for the last couple of days, this book has really impressed me. It has really changed my perspective. It's given me a healthier perspective about myself. And even how I present things. Uh, Not just personally in my life, but even in my ministry. So I just give God the honor and the glory for this. But today, you know, my my devotion was coming from the book of Mark. Mark chapter 16, verse 20. And it says, they went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord confirming the word with signs following. Amen. So the key thing here for me is that they went forth. And preach everywhere. Just like you, me, and whomever. We went forth. And we preach. Amen. We preach everywhere. The Lord confirming his word. And that's one of the things being a prophet. uh, Prophetic. Prophetically speaking. You know. When I release prophetic words. I don't necessarily know what's going on in that person. But God will give me foreknowledge. And God will confirm himself with signs that will follow. Amen. And I just thank God for the obedience that I had the ability through the power of the Holy Spirit. To hear his voice. But today. I was at work. And. Just sitting down thinking. 
that I need to do something uh, with bringing more resources into my life to help me to do more on a ministry level. And so a few months ago, maybe longer, and I was praying about this and the Holy Spirit said, what do you have? You know, what do you have? And basically, what do I have that will help me to grow uh, my ministry? And so I went to thinking, you know, yeah, what do I have? And then I just looked at what I had been doing and I know how to cook. I'm a good cook. I'm not bragging. I'm just saying what is truthful. I am a good cook and I have been cooking many dishes, vegetarian dishes and vegan dishes. So the Spirit of the Lord said, I, I will use what you have. So basically, you know, I was thinking about just going and start, you know, cooking, doing little dishes and stuff like that and have people to taste the food and just sell it. Well, life got in the way and I didn't get to do what I was thinking about. So today, the Spirit of the Lord reminded me of what I have. And in the process of reminding me, I called my son and told him, you know, what the Spirit of the Lord has shown me, you know, what will help me on a financial level and also help the ministry itself. Because when I begin to prosper, everything around me will prosper. People will prosper. I will be able to do more for other ministries, not just for this ministry, but all ministries and other people. Amen. And so... My son said, do research. So I started researching on renting kitchens, etc. And while researching, I said, let me just go ahead and read my daily devotion. And I started at day seven and it's called put on waders. And waders is what people wear when they are in the rain. It's like high boots, you know, protection from the water. Amen. But anything that we do, just like this story was saying, anything we do, we have to step in faith. And this man had put on these waders, W-A-D-E-R-S, and he put them on so that um, he won't get wet. And the rain, there was a drought. These farmers were struggling. There was a rain. Uh, there wasn't no rain. They had a drought and they had an emergency meeting in the church. And everyone was looking at this man because he had on all these rubber boots, his waders. I mean, he had, he was just totally prepared for rain. And by the time they got done with their emergency prayer meeting, guess what? It rained and he didn't get wet, but everybody else did. So that was an act of faith. And the key thing is when we move on faith and when we do what God is saying, when we allow the spirit of God to help us, to assist us, to go out, like I'm asking the Holy Spirit to help me, amen, to carry out my dream, you know, because if I could dream it, I can do it. It can be accomplished, amen. I don't believe there's nothing that God has given me cannot be accomplished, but it requires my faith. And when I go out and go forth and preach the gospel, amen, these signs will follow, amen. So I believe today is my day. Today is your day. Whoever you are, we got to move on our faith. We don't have to just pray about our dream. We have to act on our dream. Act as if God is going to deliver on his promise. Maybe it's time to put on waders and act as if God is going to answer. Maybe it's time to make an $85 down payment on our dreams. Amen. Or your dream. Whatever the situation is. I'm just reading from the book right now because I feel like the spirit of the Lord just want me to move into that place. And it requires an act of faith. It requires planting something in the place where you will reap your harvest if we only are dreaming and we're not acting on these dreams that god has given to us concerning our future how will we know these signs will follow us how now a part of this book this is what he says and and this what got my attention this what got me up and jumping and hollering and just giving god the praise and the honor and the glory uh, is that he said in this part, he said, this isn't some name it, claim it scheme. 
and you, whoever's listening to me, you should know about the name it, claim it scheme. If not, don't get involved. But it's not about the name it, claim it scheme. If it's not in the will of God, it's not for the glory of God. It's a waste of time, energy, money. But if, but if the dream is ordained by God, then that $85 step of faith honors God. And God will honor your $85. Think of it as a down payment on your dream. So, you, whatever the Holy Spirit puts in your heart. The Holy Spirit told this man to put down $85. This is what he had and he did. And everything he did, he did by faith. And God ordained the blessing. God increased the blessing. Things began to open for this man and his family and his ministry. Amen. But I just want to encourage you today. God wants us to move first. Amen. God wants us to move first. We don't wait on God. God is waiting on us. It's an act of faith. Amen. We have faith. Faith is in our DNA. Faith is in our personality. Faith is in our character. Whether you serve God or not, you still have faith. You still have it. No matter what religion or what spirituality you are involved in, you have faith faith we all have faith amen and so we got to give god the honor and the glory we got to thank god that these signs will precede us amen meaning that god is not behind us god is waiting on us to make that first move we are not going backwards we are going forward and if we want to see the move of god we need to make the first move we need to see that god is involved in what we're doing until we get up and move and I'm challenging you today, man of God. I'm challenging you today, woman of God. Get up and make that move. Make that move right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Move and God will move for you. Move. God will move heaven and earth to honor your faith, to honor our faith. Amen. God is the God of the impossibilities. He makes what's difficult for us. He will make it possible, but it takes faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. So God is the God of possibilities, but we got to have faith. We got to believe. We got to trust in him and trust in his word because God is ready. No matter how much money you have or how much money I have, I'm going to step out in faith. I'm going to speak into this. I'm going to sow seed into my dream. If I could dream it, huh? if I know I could cook it, I can launch it. Amen. I could dream it. I could cook it. I could launch it. If you are an engineer, a mechanic, if you are a seamstress, whatever your situation is, if God is giving you dreams to show you how to prosper, you guess what? You can prosper in this. And I just want to encourage you today. I just want to encourage you today that the dream that our Father has given you, given to you, given to me requires action. We can't be sitting down still in hopes that God is going to do it for us. No, God requires you to step in. God requires us to get up. We can pray until our knees are numb. But if our praying isn't accompanied by acting, then we won't get anywhere. We need to put feet to our faith. We need to put feet to our faith. Faith without works is dead. So no matter how much we kneel, if we are not acting on our faith, how do we expect the blessing to come? How do we expect God to honor what we do so that he will be glorified? Yay, God. Whoever hears this tonight, God, or wherever they are in this God's world, I pray, God, that they will see you move. They will see you move when they make that move. According to the book of Mark, chapter 16, verse 20. May you move. Amen. May you trust God. May you separate yourself from the doubters. May you believe that God is able to do the impossible. May you have faith to believe. Amen. Faith to believe to receive. 
Yay, God. We just thank God right now. We just thank God for the atonement of the blood of Jesus that cleanses us from all unrighteousness. We ask Abba Father right now, and I'm praying for you, praying for your family. I'm praying that you will move with me. You will walk with me. You will make some type of seed offering to God. Not to me. I'm not asking no one to sow any seed to this ministry. I'm just asking for you to move on your faith. I'm asking you to honor God, that God himself will honor you and he will bless you. He will ordain the works of your hands because you're going to prosper in whatever you do. This is the will of the father. Poverty is not our portion. Being rich is not our portion. It's being wealthy in land, houses and transportation, people, family, family first. If anything, the wealthiest place in a man's life is his family, his wife and his children. That's wealth right there. Your children can live off your legacy. (laughs) That's my prayer for my sons, my babies. Live off your mama's legacy and dwell in the land. And you will never suffer poverty. You will never suffer sickness and disease. God, we honor you. And we thank you for this hour. Amen. Amen. I'm excited. Because I'm getting ready to do something phenomenal. That's not only going to bless me and my seed. But it's going to bless many generations. And I thank God for the leap of joy he has given me. Amen. Amen. I'm your host, Jacqueline King, Prophetic Utterance. Make that move, and God will move with you. Amen.